So here we are, the start of our third season and our first in the Vanarama National League South. Now, the goal is just to fight bravely against relegation and that's pretty much my only expectation. I don't think we're particularly deep. I don't think we're a particularly strong squad. And if I'm honest, I'm not expecting anything really. And to back up that point I made in the intro, we're actually third favourite to go down. We're 100 to 1 to win the league. Whitehawk, who have actually beaten us already once in this save, are favourites to win. Then Maidstone, Bromley, Gosport. We're all the way down here. Us, East Thurrock and Western Supermare, the other teams predicted to do badly. We don't have anybody in the key players. We don't have anybody in the Dream 11. It's all looking rather bleak. Now, transfer-wise, we've brought in a few because we had to. Our squad isn't particularly deep yet. I may still add a few more. Uh, just to thin out, we need probably need another centre-back, for instance. We probably need one more striker, maybe. Um, and maybe one more fullback. but, you know, we'll see. We've brought in these guys so far. Now, on the outs, we haven't lost anybody super important. We lost Jarrell, we lost Hood, the, the central midfielders. We lost Charlie Fox, but that's because he didn't want to come back. Jordan Chandler's gone. Uh, Callum McAllister, Gareth Smith, uh, bye all sort of the backup players that we had and then a bunch of a uh, bunch of youth players but no one's super important so let's just go through the ins we'll ignore Benham because he was already my player and I think I made a mistake letting him go so I brought him back just even if I just loan him out again or whatever just to have him around so we start with Jack Party he's my backup fullback can slot in either side we're actually going to play wing back so I'm kind of training him further up uh, it's going to take him a while. None of my fullbacks are particularly good as wingbacks, but I like playing them. So that's what we're going to do. Next, we've got Tom Holland, probably the best player we've brought in this summer. Brought him in again from the University of Surrey because for some reason that team keeps pumping out like top quality players. He's going to be playing in the central midfield role, probably as a deep line playmaker. Passing 11, technique 8, first touch 10, vision, teamwork, all pretty good. Flair, decisions, composure, all very good for this level. Stamina is really good. He's pretty much like a, just a perfect midfielder for this level, I feel. He's going to slot right in. Next, we've got Alfie Doughty, who's going to be playing either midfield or left wing back, uh, depending on where we need him. Passing good, tackling good, first touch good, decisions good. Again, just an all-round solid player. Lots of potential to grow even more. I think he's going he's gonna to slot in nicely. He gives uh, backup to Kane Lewis if we need to. He also backs up our central midfielders, although we do have quite a few of those now. Next, we brought in another striker because we kind of needed one. This one's Ashley Pope. He's going to play as a defensive forward slash target man slash uh, he could even play as a poacher if we need him to. 10 finishing, 8 composure, so he's kind of like a slightly worse version of our other two. But he's really decent in most of the... But he's pretty decent in most of the stats you need for the defensive forward slash target man kind of role. He's a really solid sort of second, third choice. He probably won't get in above uh, Clifton. And he definitely won't make it in above Ramadan. But I'm happy to have him. The one centre back we brought in, Adam Harney, has come in from a home farm. Uh, again, pretty much just a backup. We're playing three centre backs this year. So I kind of needed a fourth. And I may even need a fifth, probably. But he's just sort of pretty decent he was on a free he's actually probably the cheapest one of the cheapest i'm not even paying him so he's pretty decent for for only on the appearance fee i just hope i don't lose him and we've got cameron murray one of the three more central midfielders we brought in again just pretty decent all round dan mckenna same dealio really and danny foster a uh, nice little young regen here again pretty good all round he's gonna slot in he may well play as an AM instead of a, a central midfielder. So him and Eze are going to be going for those AM roles. So here's our squad in general. Uh, as we can see, still pretty weak in terms of current ability. Potential, it's, according to my uh, scouts, it's kind of off the charts, pretty decent. But current ability-wise, we might struggle. But I can't really afford to bring anybody else in. There was a couple of other really good players that I scouted that wanted to come, but they wanted, like, one of them wanted a thousand pound a week. Like I can't afford to pay a thousand pound a week. That's almost three times more what I can pay some of these guys. I think he wanted one point two k, and the highest I could pay him at the time was maybe four fifty. Although I think it's gone up to about five hundred now, but it's still nowhere near one point two k. 
And here's our expectations for this year. So we've got to fight bravely against relegation in the FA Cup. Be competitive. I don't even know what that means. That's actually pretty vague and a little worrying. Same thing with the FA Trophy. Be competitive. So this is the team for today. We've got Sharp in goal still. Our back three consists of Cox, Van and Cole. We've got Lewis playing left wing back. Parter playing right wing back again. Both of them suck, but I think they'll do quite well there anyway. Murphy in man is the central midfield defensive role. Holland playing as that deep line playmaker. Today we've got Eze in the uh, attacking playmaker role. Pope as a target man. Ramadan as an attacking forward. Let's just go straight into our first game of the season, shall we? I've not had an easy time picking a winner here, but I think Dartford will edge this game. Not surprising, really. Let's uh, see how true that comes out to be. That wasn't the right way to phrase that, but whatever. Can't can't change it now. Continue to opposition instructions. Um, okay, already done that. We're on to the team talk. Uh, let's go with... Good luck. I think you're going to need it. There we go. They like that still. Good to see some things don't change. Ah, oh, man. It's nice to see that in the higher levels of football, the crowds are just pouring in. Oh, that's something I forgot to mention, actually. Just completely forgot. We're not playing at Calthorpe Park for the start of this season because uh, to be in this league, they had to expand it. So we had to take out like a half a million pound loan or something. 350,000, I think it was. The other 350,000 coming from... Uh, grants and local councils and they're actually putting another thousand seats into what thousand and a half seats into our stadium so we're playing in older shots recreation ground for the first uh, three or four months of uh, of the season so that's nice yep i know kane lewis and jack parter are being played out of position they can just deal with it Right, okay, change, change tactics because you uh, feel like you're playing a tactic with, that doesn't produce any highlights First game in, go a whole half with no highlights. That's, uh, that's a, gr a great start. But, you know, a point in our first game wouldn't be so bad. Uh, come on, fade out. Come on, come on, don't do this to me. Don't score with your first, first go. That would royally suck. Cregan into Noble. Is he going to spread it out wide? He is. Out to Yom out here on the right-hand side. And Lewis just does him. And that's going to fade out. No, Ramadan up to Pope. Yeah. I completely forgot I'd put Pope in that role. Could have sworn it was Clifton. But no, of course it's not. It is Pope. Should we bring Clifton on? I think we should. Danny Clifton, on your come for Pope. Semo Ramadan's playing the worst of the two. But he's the one that I'm banking on to score another 40 goals this year. Let's pair the two up again. See if we can get anything going. Well, actually, we'll bring uh, Danny Foster on for Eze as well. See if we can get anything going from him in the last 25 minutes of the game. I may even... Let's give him a sort of a passionate push forward. Uh oh, Yom's got it on the edge of the box. He cuts inside. Ote's going to get there. Oh, Ote hits the side of the net. We get away with it. They had loads of space there free. Sharp's going to get the goal kick. We've given him a bit of a push up. Do we listen? Lewis, Ramadan. Oh, I thought he was going to get the flick on. Yom's going to get it. But Cox steps in front of that. He's going to play it back to Lewis, who goes long. I'm not sure I like that. Foster flicks it through to Ramadan, though. Slides it into Clifton. First time. Oh, pushed around the post by Osborne. There's the quality goalkeeping that we we expect to see in this division. Good save that from Osborne. Mm, Ramadan taking the corner. That's new. Awful corner. Butler isn't playing. But then surely my other... Oh, my God. I don't know why Ramadan took that. That's not what I wanted at all. Back to Murfin. Into Van Van, just goes straight long. Ramadan is on here. Is the old Ramadan through the middle play going to work? First game of the season. First goal for Semar Ramadan. 1-0 up against Dartford in the first game of the season with 10 minutes to go. And it's Semar Ramadan again. Fleet Town hero. 
I'm going to have to keep him in every league until he retires. He is staying with me. He is never, ever going anywhere else. Ramadan is a flip. I'm going to have him tattoo the flip badge over his heart because he is staying for life. I think they went more attacking there. I saw their formation shift. All right, so we want to... Uh, oh, which actually, we're not even going to do anything. We've already got to 90 minutes. Are we actually going to... We're going to win our first game of the season again. Another year where we're expected to go down and we start it with a win. I mean, that is staggering. Passionate, well done, lads. Three if you like it. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Didn't even get player of the match on our team. Yom got that, but... We didn't, look, none of us played well. Daniel Van had the best game. Everybody else... Lewis was terrible in his new position, so I'm going to have to give him a bit of a talking to. Everyone else was poor. But we win the game. So there we go. First game, first win. I... Is that two or three seasons in a row now where we've won our first game of the season? Genuinely lost for words. Uh, we should we, we should hopefully bring in more players. We should hopefully strengthen a little bit in terms of depth. But I don't expect to do anything this year. But then I didn't expect to do anything last year. So I guess we wait and see.